This lesson deals with supplemental problem 311. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems on page 11. Given this circuit, what value of the resistor R is needed to get the maximum power in R? If you recall in the chapter 3 notes, we talked about the maximum power transfer theorem. Pick the value of that load to equal the Thevenin resistance. So let's find the Thevenin resistance. Take the load off, look back in those terminals, in other words, right here, and set all the independent sources equal to zero. So that's a short circuit for a battery, open circuit for a current source. And now what I've got is four ohms in parallel with six, 12 ohms in parallel with eight, and then those two are in series. So product over the sum, so 24 over 10, 96 over 20, we're gonna add those two together. Turns out to be 2.4 and 4.8, so 7.2 ohms. Now let's also find the amount of power that's dissipated in R. And we can do that also by finding the Thevenin voltage. Now since the current in the 4 ohm and the 6 ohm is the same, and the current in the 12 ohm and the 8 ohm is the same, we could use the voltage divider rule. So the voltage here would be 30 volts times the 6 ohms over the 6 plus 4. And then the current would be flowing in this direction, would have a drop from here to here of 30 volts times 8 over 8 plus 12. That turns out to be 18 and 12. We're going to subtract those two and get 6. We had some shortcut formulas for calculating the power in the load if you knew the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. So let's use the formula of E Thevenin squared over 4 R Thevenin. So 6 squared over 4 times 7.2. And that's 1.25 watts. And this is supplemental problem 311.